Comfortable convertible bra is the starting point for successfully wearing Gutsy Girl bra straps. You probably already own at least one. Many bras come with removable straps, and just like a car, the convertible doesn't have to be fancy to be just perfect for you. With that said, there are five main ways to wear Gutsy Girl bra straps with a regular convertible bra. In general, it's easiest to attach the straps to the back of the bra before you put it on, and then attach the front hooks appropriately for your chosen look after you're wearing it. Since the straps are not stretchy, you will need to determine the ideal length for your chosen look on your body and adjust the straps accordingly. Don't worry, this gets much easier with practice. We call the first look classic because it's your basic no frills bra strap style. It's the bra strap standard and it will work with nearly any top or dress style. Here's how to wear the classic look. First, attach both straps to the back hooks of the bra. Then put on the bra as you normally would. One at a time, pull each strap forward over your shoulder and keeping the strap flat, attach the hook to the front loop. It may take you a few times to determine the right length for your body. Next up is cross back, which is my personal favorite. It's all business up front and party in the back, sort of like a mullet, but much, much cooler and without all the awkward MacGyver references. This look will also work with a multitude of top or dress styles. Here's how to wear the cross back look. Exactly like wearing the classic look, first attach both straps to the back hooks of the bra and then put on the bra as you normally would. And here's the part that's different. One at a time, pull each strap forward over the opposite shoulder and keeping the strap flat, attach the hook to the front loop. And just FYI, the adjusted length for, for the cross back look will be quite a bit longer than for the standard look. The halter is really easy and a lot of fun. It will work best with strapless tops, dresses, or bathing suits. For this look, you will only need one strap. Here's how to apply the halter. First, put on the bra as you normally would. Before attaching the strap, move the slide adjuster so the strap is at its longest point. Then attach one end of the strap to one of the front loops. Keeping the strap flat against your skin, pull it back over your shoulder and around the back of your neck and attach this end to the strap on the other front loop. Adjust the slide as necessary for a comfortable fit. And now we have the super sexy front cross. As the name suggests, it is the opposite of the cross back look. Here's how to wear the front cross. Attach both straps to the back hooks of the bra, then put on the bra as you normally would. One at a time, pull each strap forward over the shoulder and keeping the strap flat across your chest, attach the hook to the opposite front loop. And finally, look five is the single strap cross. As the name implies, you will only need one strap for this look. Here's how to wear the single strap cross. First, move the slide adjuster so the strap is at its longest point. Then attach the strap to one of the back hooks of the bra. Put on the bra as you normally would. Then pull the strap forward over the shoulder and keeping the strap flat across your chest, attach the hook to the opposite front loop. And let's talk for a moment about the illustrious multi-way bra. A multi-way bra has at least four hook loops in the front instead of just two. In addition to the regular wide set loops, there are also two narrow set loops inside the cups. This multi-way actually has six front loops, allowing for some exciting and sleek versions, including the narrow classic, the narrow halter, the narrow front cross, the narrow single strap cross, as well as some really fantastic asymmetric looks. I have provided a link to purchase a multi-way bra in the course supplies and materials. Go, go, go!